keep your hands to yourself. Whoa, 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 whoa. I wasn't even near you. I think you want me to get my hands on you. What is it? Dragons? Uh, I killed the dragons. They're fucking dead. My husband, Darcy, oh! will be the death of me. Scared he me! He spends too much time worrying about Riften and not enough about himself. Fucker! I can't fail! I can't! Oh, my word. Oh, no. You're the one from Brynjolf South, aren't you? Oh, there's no need for that. <laughs> I know why you're here. Tell Brynjolf not to worry about it anymore. Oh, and uh, look, I even have the payment I owed. Of course you do. Uh, here, take so it. smash the fuck out of your urn. As soon as I hit the urn, he pussied out. All the crime and corruption in Riften is really getting me. All right, that was a quick one, huh? I said I'd be back in five minutes, and what is it, like six minutes? So let's go fucking trade this shit in. With any locks around here, we're going to have a real problem. Where am I? What the? Where am I? Look the wrong way. It's this way. Here we go. Here's the staircase, right? Yep. All right, head right back down there. You should be happy. some kind of a record of collecting three fucking paint, uh, three th things, you know, what do they call it? Three loans. That's right. Loan sharking. That's record time for loan sharking right there. Stay out of so, trouble. Job's done and you even brought the gold. <laughs> Best of all, you did it clean. I like that. Dumping bodies and keeping the guards quiet can be expensive. Well done. And it would seem I owe you something in return. A blow, a blow job, Here yep. You go. Better blow I me. I think you'll find these quite useful. Well, I want a blow job. What's next then? Judging from how well you've handled those shopkeepers, I'd say you've done more than simply prove yourself. We need people like you in our outfit. Uh, oh, if there's more gold where that came from, I'm in. That's the spirit. Larceny's in your blood. The telltale sign of a practice thief. I think you'll do more than just fit in around here. Before we go, I have to ask. What's on your mind? Where does your outfit isn't doing well, true? We've run into a rough patch lately, but it's nothing to be concerned about. Tell you what, you keep making us coin, and I'll worry about everything else. Fair enough? Fair enough. Now, if there are no more questions, how about following me, and I'll show you what we're all about. She's gonna take me to the S and M sex room. To the cozy little family, I'm one of the lookouts for the guild. I watch Delvin's back. After you talk to Brynjolf and Mercer, come back and see me. Bah! Why is it so dark in there? <laughs> come on, Ilya. Follow the uh, strange man who's leading us into a, a dark corner. This isn't abnormal at all, in any way. Let's wait until Brynjolf's here before we begin. Who the fuck is he? Ah. Mercer, this is the one I was talking about. Our new recruit. This better not be another waste of the guild's resources, Brynjolf. <laughs> before we continue, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. You play by the rules and walk away rich. Oh yeah, you guys look rich. You break the rules and you lose your share. No debates, no discussions. What we say, when we say. How we say and where we say. Right, now bend over. Clear. Yes, I'll take your pants off. Good, then I think it's time we put your expertise to the test. 
Wait a moment. You're not talking about Golden Blue, are you? Even our little Vex couldn't get in. You claim this recruit possesses an aptitude for our line of work. <laughs> so let him prove it. Golden Glow Estate is critically important to one of our largest clients. However, the owner has suddenly decided to take matters into his own hands and shut us out. He needs to be taught a lesson. Huh. Grignol will provide you with the details. All right. Mercer, aren't you forgetting something? Mm -hmm. Grignol assures me you'll be nothing but a benefit to us than you're in. Welcome to the Thieves Guild. I didn't even say I wanted to be the Welcome Thieves Guild. To the family, <laughs> I'm expecting you to make us a lot of coin, so don't disappoint me. How do I get my cut of the spoils? Simple. <clears throat> do as you're told and keep your blade clean. We can't turn a profit by killing. You should talk with Delvin, Mallory, and Vex. They know their way around this place, and they'll be able to kick some extra jobs your way. Oh, and talk to Tunelia and the Flagon. She'll set you up with your new armor. I'm not using a fucking shitty thieves armor. Huh. <clears throat> Tell me about the Golden Glow job. Golden Estate is a bee farm. They raise the wretched little things for honey. It's owned by some smart mouthed wood elf named Arangoth. We need you to teach him a lesson by burning down three of the estate's hives huh. and clearing out the safe in the main house. What's the catch? The catch is that you can't burn the whole place to the ground. That important client Mercer mentioned would be furious if you did. What's so important about these clients? The guild depends on an arrangement of influential people to keep things running smoothly. Hmm. Without them at our backs, we'd be in serious trouble. What should I do about Arangoth? Maven prefers that Arangoth remains alive. But if he tries to stop you from getting the job done, kill him. Hmm. The guild has a lot riding on this. Don't make me look foolish by mucking it up. How do I destroy the beehives? They're built <clears throat> like small fortresses to resist the weather, but their one weakness is flame. Great. Besides, nothing tells the people of Ripton we mean business better than a huge column of smoke. Hmm. Why not level the entire state? I'll give you one good reason. Maven Blackrack. Maven? Oh, boy. Burn all the hives, and she'd have to import honey for Blackbriar Meadery which would cut into her profits. All right. We had an arrangement with Maven. We kept an eye on Golden Glow Estate to make sure the honey kept flowing. If the workers had a dispute, we'd rough them up. If competitors tried to buy honey from Arangoth, we'd steal the shipments. <laughs> in return, Maven allowed us to extort Arangoth and bring in a huge payout. How dangerous is it to cross Let me put it to you this way. Nothing happens in Riften without Maven's consent. One word from her, and you can spend the rest of the fourth era in prison. But I'm the Thane, bitch. All right. You watch yourself on that island. Those mercenaries don't take prisoners. What do we got here? Nice alchemy set up. Nice. Practicing. The kind of stuff you expect to see at a guild. <coughs> this better be important. I'm quite busy. I don't have the key to that door. Come here a second. A lot of people are beginning to get impressed with you here. Archery, Me huh? Included. Just wanted to let you know. Let's talk for a moment more, Moxley. Oh, Sapphire's if part of them, huh? Before, I just wanted you to know it's because you were new. You know what I mean? Huh. Tell me your real name. Look, I don't really know you. I don't even really know anyone here. Why do you care anyway? It's not like we're family. This is a business. Because you're cute. Something had to make you this angry. Look, you want to know about me? All right, I'll tell you. Uh-oh, I didn't I'll ask. I'll tell you about the time I was a young girl, barely out of her teens. 
Living on a pig farm in the middle of nowhere. This is already boring. Didn't have a coin to spend between <laughs> our entire family. Ate the same slop we fed our lives. Your story already sucks. Sounds horrible. Oh, wait. It gets much better. How about the fact that our farm was attacked by bandits? And that they killed my entire family, who didn't even brandish a weapon against them? Alright, that's good. Here's the best part. They took me as a prize and violated me for a fortnight. Oh. Tossed me from bandit to bandit, like... like... <laughs> Excellent. It's fine. I had to tell someone, I suppose. Yeah, but I didn't care. Like that. It hurts after a while. Cuts you inside like a dagger to the heart. How'd you escape? Over time, I managed to gain their confidence. Then one night, I grabbed a knife, waited until they fell asleep, and cut their throats. There you go. I never returned to that pig farm, you know. There's nothing for me. No shit, me. except for dead so bodies. Why would you return? What do you think? <laughs> sexy. What a sexy story. Maybe one day. Just not today. Look, I don't really know you. I don't even really know anyone here. She won't fucking talk to me now. What the fuck? 